how would you feel if you just closed a seven-figure trade? Do you not think that the emotion is going to come out of your ears, the euphoria sparking out of everywhere? Or would you be just emotionless like a robot, like... Just another business day, huh? Because isn't that the goal of every trader to eliminate your emotions, right? To delete emotions, to be an emotionless robot, follow emotionless trading strategies. Isn't that what you're supposed to be? Well, fuck no, it doesn't work this way. And if you want to know how it actually works, you got to listen. I'm going to explain everything. Come on. Because the truth is, especially in a sea of retail traders that all parrot the same nonsense, the nuances make the real difference. And that's what you have to understand. The reality is nuanced. And it's not about deleting emotions. It's about managing emotions. It's like managing trades. It's like managing risk. You have to manage your emotions. So how do you manage your emotions? That's something that is in fact not as difficult as you think. And it's part of the trader's journey. If you want to be consistently profitable and trade a strategy, even with a statistical edge, the seven building blocks in place and a strategy that works for you, you will still need to be able to manage your emotions correctly if you want to be a millionaire trader or even more than that. So what's the difference then between a retail trader and a professional trader's emotional control? Do you know the answer? Well, I know the answer. So let me explain it to you. Because if you think about it, in its really simplest forms, emotions typically lead us away from what we should be doing, right? So for example, our data tells us we should not trade more than two trades. Whenever we trade more than two trades a day, the percentage of the trades winning drops massively. But emotion leads us to have another trade, another revenge trade or any of that nonsense. Our plan tells us let the trade run because you only apply the trade management with certain criteria. But our emotion wants to close the trade early as soon as it comes a little bit back against us. Or the other side around, it wants us to stay in the losing trade because we're hoping and feeling that it will come back. But the data tells us that's not true. So this is why emotions can be extremely misleading and problematic. So yes, there is a necessity to manage emotions but not to delete emotions because without emotions, you do not have the discretionary excellence, that little bit that robots cannot do. And I explain further in the video what I actually mean by that and how it impacts and really leads to absolute excellency in your trading results. Of course, there's simple rules that we should just not override. So we shouldn't take 50% risk per trade. <laughs> Why do people do that? I honestly don't understand like not even this is torture so you're not even like emotions are leading you down a really painful path and that's certainly something where you can completely ignore your emotion of wanting to take a higher risk that's greed right so emotions can work in both directions positive and negative euphoria is just as bad as being afraid of something because it leads you to making decisions that are stupid now Removing emotions out of the equation isn't the solution, however, because if you remove emotions completely, then a robot could do it. But the problem with that is, is that if you only have extremely fixed parameters, those parameters, and this is why, for example, also an automatic trading robot will never work that you buy on the market. Those parameters are only within a narrow band of reality. So when a market has different scenarios happening than this band only, defined parameters will not work. And you will not have any discretionary ability to adjust. And this is why when you have an automated system, an algorithm, that algorithm needs to have a ton of parameters to be working in the first place. And all these parameters need to be optimized and adjusted frequently all the time. Otherwise, it's just over-optimized for only one version of reality that might not ever actually happen again exactly that way. And that's why those robots don't work. They work in certain market phases and then they just all miserably fail and lose all the money. But that's why, you know, people are told, you got to eliminate your emotions. If you have emotions, all you got to do is, you know, mistakes in trading. And while a big part of that is true, it's 
just as misleading. Because if you eliminate emotions, you also eliminate your ability to, in fact, discern the nuances and make proper decisions based on that. Yes, you follow your trading plan. Yes, you follow your statistical edge. Yes, but you also review your data and you understand in which situations are you behaving how. And then you develop, and that's the superpower in trading, self-awareness. Self-awareness is the key to solving your emotionality in trading because what you will learn is that certain things, whether it's losing a trade, whether it's being in a drawdown, whether it's being up on a trade, will trigger a certain emotion in you. And that emotion will override your rules and yeah, make you have bad judgment. And essentially, your job as a trader is to develop so much self-awareness that you can front run this. You can interrupt that before it happens. Many times what happens in our bodies is that our initial emotions trigger a chemical process. And that chemical process actually makes that emotional thing even more. It puts like a magnifying glass on it. And this is why it's important that as your emotion starts to unfold to pattern interrupt it before the chemicals kick in so that it does not get amplified. And this is how you can actually become an observer to your own emotions. That's literally the biggest superpower in the whole universe. It doesn't just help you in trading. It also helps you in any other aspect of life. You become, you know, it's a, it sounds a bit new agey, right? Like uh, become self-aware and, and these things. But that's literally the thing. You have to be an observer of what's going on. That's, by the way, also a lot of times people misunderstand what meditation is. They think like meditation is all about stilling the mind. You must not think about anything. But that's not true. There's actually two forms of meditation. One form is you focus on one thing only. You try to keep your attention on one thing only. You could train that, for example, with focusing on a geometrical shape. And only that one shape you focus on. This is to increase your strength of uh, mind power to focus on something specific. But the other way of meditation is, is to actually let your thoughts pass by like a river. And you are just an observer to them. You don't get attached to these thoughts. You don't interact with them you don't get engaged with them you just let them flow and that's the other training that you need to go through in order to then have that self-awareness to be able to focus on something super sharp when you need and want to and to let it go when you're just observing so essentially as the emotion comes up you observe that it's coming up and then you super sharp focus on not letting it happen and this is how you could actually then also make sure that you don't do stupid mistakes in trading. You know, oftentimes people say like trading is just data-based, process-driven. And I'm actually one of those guys. And that is correct. Now, the reality and the truth, however, is, is that you are still a human being. You will still have your heart. You will still have your flawed perception. You will still have your biases. You will still have your character. This is why I always say you don't just need a strategy with a statistical edge, which is that rules-based part, which then gives you the mathematical edge to win. But you also need a strategy that works for you so that you can actually put it into action, which means is that it emotionally allows you to not make mistakes or to put it as it needs to be done properly, okay? And that's why these two concepts, strategy that works for you and the statistical edge, they need to be married. Only then they become a one whole winning strategy. You get it? And because we are created this way by God or maybe even aliens made our DNA this way, like who cares? But because we are like that, and I say that so many times, never fight reality. Work with reality. Understand reality and make it your bitch, you know? Reality is a servant to you, and you will need to understand it for it to become your servant. And that's why, because we are made this way, we do feel emotions. We do have a heart. We do have our perceptions and biases and preconceptions and triggers and the subconscious and all of these things they are there whether you acknowledge it or not doesn't change a thing they are there 
And that is why you need to manage your emotions, not suppress them, not control them in a way that they are gone, but manage them, work with them, understand them, understand your biases. Some people are super reckless. Other people are extremely fearful. Again, people are too patient. Other people are very impatient. Uh, some people are extremely disciplined and others are the opposite. So that is why a mentoring process is so valuable because when you work with the right mentor, and this is what I do with my students, for example, we figure out these things. Uh, like, what are you? What are you good at? What are you bad at? What are you struggling with? What are you really, you know, fantastic in? And then, as you put things into action, the statistical edge strategy, the seven building blocks, the strategy that works for you, and then you journal, and you actually, you know, provide the data of your journaling. Did you do what you wanted to do? At which point did you behave differently? Can we find patterns? Can we see, like, uh, what we could and should improve and I even share in my uh, close group like on a weekly basis I review the trades of my track record and this is why I'm telling you guys you know what if you don't believe the things that I say then I couldn't care less <laughs> because I have a track record to back up that what I'm saying actually works let the data speak it's not my opinion that is talking here what's talking here is my results by experience it's proven in a consistent now i think about 22 months of track record of consistent profitability and i started this track record for exactly that reason i'm not going to have the conversation explaining myself to others whether my methods are true or real or not the results do all the talking and now you can decide if you want to you know work in the training industry with some schmuck that's going to sell you some hope and dream without a really working method or proof to it or if you want to learn from someone that can actually, you know, get you to the promised land of profitable trading consistently. And whether you want to just, you know, add to your income eh, or you want to even replace your job, like that is a decision that you can then make once you have acquired the skill set of trading. And then also with today's possibilities, you can access funding as well. Hmm? I mentioned that in other videos as well that I have a solution for my students where they can get instant funding so you can have instantly a large account to trade <laughs> because you're my student and you learn from me. That's how much that prop firm is willing to trust this method. And that's why, guys, again, the reason I'm explaining these things to you is that my emotionality, I have it so much under control, like I'm managing it, is that people will talk shit about me on the internet all day long but it says a lot more about them than it does about me <laughs> I am defined by my results I hold myself accountable by my results not by my words let the others do the same and if they don't then they don't but that doesn't change my reality so you see even here I manage my emotions I get triggered all day long uh, and people call me names or scammer or whatever nonsense. And actually, they only say that because they have fallen victim to scammers before. And that's not even my fault. That's completely their responsibility. And I understand why they would be bitter and why they would want to push that emotionality on somebody else. Because it's tough to accept your own emotions. It is difficult to see your own shortcomings and then manage them, accept them and become aware of them improve them and take care of them and then you know have that management process in place for the rest of your life for the future and again it just doesn't only impact your trading results it impacts every other aspect of your life positively as well and you know the way i learned it is that because when you are a professional trader especially when you manage other people's money like in a hedge fund you have a ton of responsibilities and obligations it's not like oh today i'm just going to take a different type of risk oh today i trade a different market or a different approach you can't just do that. They'll fucking sue the ass out of you. <laughs> you know? And you're dealing with really rich customers. They don't understand playing games. They got into your fund because they are being sold a specific trading strategy, a specific approach, a specific risk profile. Everything is clearly defined. And based on that, they took the risk investing in you, trusting you. So you have obligations that you need to fulfill. That's why a professional trader will always know to manage their emotions a lot better because that is what keeps him alive. And just think about it. If you run a fund, that's why, of course, you want to make profit to your to your investors and you take a share of these profits but you also make a management fee you know and 
you will never be able to accumulate size and mass if people can't trust you. If people know that you cannot manage your emotions and actually deliver on what you're promising, which is at the very least putting your strategy into action exactly the way it has been disclosed, right? And now imagine you have a hundred million dollars on the management and you make two percent of a hundred million dollars a year just just for running the fund without any profits now imagine having a billion dollars doing that you see like that's why as a fund manager you want to be so reliable that people want to give you their money and you will just make money for managing the money without even having profits just yet, but for being a reliable person. So that quality is worth money. That quality is, this is how most fund managers become filthy rich from their management fees, not necessarily from their trading results. That comes on top, but that sometimes also comes in phases. They may have very good some years and then other years the market phase may change and they need to readjust themselves as well. But what I'm trying to say is that if you don't go through the experience of being a professional trader, then you're missing an integral part of understanding how crucial it is to manage your emotions and also how much beneficial it is for you to learn to do that too if you want to grow a business, if you want to grow wealth, if you want to grow your trading abilities, if you want to add to your income. None of these things are possible in a retail gambling type of mindset and mentality. Im fucking possible. Prove me wrong. I'll take it any day. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> and as a professional trader, you even get bonuses for being reliable huh? or for being exceptional. But you don't get to be exceptional if you cannot manage your emotions. It will not work with suppressing your emotions. Because if you suppress your emotions, you don't give a shit about people's money. <laughs> oh, fuck. I lost. That strategy didn't work. Fuck it. You think this is how you're going to get a billion dollar to manage? Or even a million only? No way. So that's what I'm telling you. Emotions are part of the human experience and you will never excel in life without understanding your emotions and managing your emotions properly and using them to your advantage and not against you, okay? And have you actually noticed as well, most retail traders actually are stuck in a fucking loop. They do the same shit all over again. Same mistake, same mistake, same mistake. New challenge, new challenge, new challenge. Prop firm, prop firm, prop firm. Like a fucking junkie. Just spending, wasting their money on that shit. New signal provider. A new robot. Fuck that shit. None of it works. None of it works. The trading industry is built to suck money out of your living blood. <laughs> Because, and I did another video, because they don't know the first thing about making money in trading. So that's why most retail traders never make it out of that loop. They're doing the same thing all over again, expecting different results. And as we all know, this is the definition of insanity. Are you insane? Don't be insane. And the most successful traders in the world, they're actually... They are emotional beings. They build relationships with their emotions. Huh? They have a persona. They are, you know, charismatic. You think charisma can work without emotionality they can re customers their investors can relate to them and even in the retail space like i know a guy also he raised around 10 million or, or like 70 million dollars from like 20,000 people and he did that mainly through emotionality people connected with him and gave him his money through a copy trading operation so you need to have emotions in place if you want to go places it's not gonna happen in a robotic way. Nobody likes robots, come on. <laughs> so really, being completely emotionless, it, it doesn't work. Being indifferent, not giving a shit, it doesn't work. I've been in this game for close to 20 years and I could tell you for sure, it does not work. That's not the solution. You cannot suppress and remove your emotions. Absolutely not. And when people talk about emotionless trading strategies, I chuckle because emotionless trading strategy means you just follow a rigid set of rules and that's fine that can work for a certain amount of time but these rigid rules they will stop being efficient they will stop working especially in options trading because you know you just show up in a certain amount or in a certain time of the day you put in certain trades certain deltas whatever like the greeks are in place and then you just leave it and then the whole idea is that you do this every day, every day, every day, every day the same. And then at the end, you have like that emotionless uh, statistical result. 
That works only when, for example, the volatility is within a certain range. If the volatility goes above or beyond that, it won't work anymore. And then you will need to adjust. So it's not that emotionless any longer, really. So people mistake all these nuances and details again because they want it easy. But I can tell you again, if you want it too easy, then you will not learn it the real way it is. And for that, you also need to have your emotion in place because your emotion also gives you wittiness, intelligence, situational intelligence, you know, you're forged in the fire, your ability grows actually as you develop that maturity of awareness so that you can make decisions in the heat of the moment. How do you think like Marines or like people that were really important things are on the line make decisions that cost lives, that may change the trajectory of history even? You think these people just suppress emotions? How do you train your emotional awareness? I believe it's very simple. Only the game teaches you the game. So you will have to get involved, but you need to do it again in a aware way. So meaning you need to have a clear structure of what it is that you're trying to trade. You need to have a statistical edge in place, the seven building block structure. It needs to be a strategy that works for you. And then as you put it into action, you need to record and document uh, yeah, your execution, in fact, and then find patterns. In which situations are you feeling stressed? In which situation are you feeling um, careless? In other situations, you know, like, and then reverse engineer what, what is happening there. And then as you do it again and again and again and again and again and again, you find, you know, also your ability to mitigate that as you diffuse it while it comes up before the chemical process takes over. Because, yes, once the chemicals are distributed, it gets a fuck ton more difficult. So you want to avoid that from happening. And you can only do that by being aware of like, ah, here's an emotion coming up. That emotion is triggered by, ah, I'm sitting in a drawdown or, hey, the trade went in my direction and now I'm feeling f far too happy, far too euphoric. You know, you become so much more aware and attentive of these things. And then, you know, like, okay, now I have a tendency to, you know, uh, question my risk management, my trade management, um, not to follow my plan again. And, and, as you do that again and again and again, you train your muscle of awareness and then also you train your muscle of ability to focus when it's needed, where it's needed to do the fucking thing that's necessary. Because that's the next thing. How many times have you been in a situation where you basically knew what you were supposed to be doing, but for some reason you fucking didn't? You just st stared like a, like a moron into nothing. How many times? I can tell you, I've, I've done this probably tens of thousands of times over the course of my lifetime. But I don't do that any longer, and I haven't done it in a long time. <laughs> because you don't get overwhelmed anymore. Your system doesn't get an overload. You become extremely capable, extremely strong-minded, extremely capable to be both, to let go on an observer mode, and to take control in a, a yeah, decisive mode. Those two things, you marry them, and then again, with a strategy that has a statistical edge, meaning a mathematical certainty that it will win more than it will lose, and a strategy that is tailored to your ability on top, like, what do you think the result's gonna be? It's gonna be fucking fantastic! <laughs> and again, that's not magic. That's how it works, and this is why it works. And this is why I mentor people doing exactly that. And again, you know, I'm not even looking to work with a ton of people. Too many people are too entitled, they're looking for someone else to do the heavy lifting for them. Again, that's not how it works. You need to learn these things and put them into action and actually improve on them and become capable. What I can do as a mentor is I can show you the methods. I can help you with finding the weaknesses. I can help you with putting the focus in the right attention and I can give you proper solutions. But you still need to walk the walk, my friend. Otherwise. You know, who else going to do it for you? Nobody. So again, only the game teaches you the game. You need repetitions. Huh? Maybe you think, you know, ah, a losing trade doesn't affect me as much until you have a losing streak. Maybe you think, ah, winning trades don't affect me until you have a winning streak. And then suddenly you start losing and you, oh, now you went from losing streak to winning streak or the other way around. How did that affect your state of mind and your ability to actually control, continue to control your emotion, manage your emotion, right? 
like you ha and and you have to be extremely attentive in exactly these moments and this is what a mentorship is so valuable for because then you can have a conversation a direct dialogue with someone who is on your side to help you whose job is nothing else than to help you with exactly these things and who has a ton of experience going through exactly these matters before as well and has taught a ton of people with the same challenges before as well you see this is what a mentorship is for you cannot get somebody else's magic strategy and think you're going to just trade it and become rich overnight. But can you learn, become a trader in a matter of weeks, adopting all these methods and really, you know, growing as a person, as a trader, even as an investor, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, was well, certainly, absolutely, fucking lutely And you will love yourself doing that. <laughs> For having done it actually there's nothing but improvement from doing that in any area of life and now you might argue well i could do this all on my own sure you can but i guarantee you that the prices that you will pay for the losses that you will have along the way are massively bigger the scams that you will fall victim to the stupid decisions that you will make without realizing that they are at the time when you make them and all of these things they will cost you so much more and it will cause you so much more pain and it will cost you so much more time so i really don't understand why you would want to choose doing that in the first place maybe you like torture i don't know who am i to judge that some people get off of that <laughs> i don't <laughs> i struggled a lot i would have killed for an opportunity and possibility to learn like you can learn today uh, and um, I had to go different ways. I needed to work at an investment bank as a, an intern. I had to lose everything and my parents' money on top before I actually uh, yeah, ha had the discipline to go the right way. Hmm? But I still worked out fine, so I'm not, uh, I'm not sad or anything. <laughs> uh, actually, I, I like my life story. Hmm? Maybe if it had been too easy, I, I wouldn't have made it in the first place. Who knows? I really don't know. But what I can say is that you honestly don't need to go through the same pain and you can still have the same results and that's why it's important that you you understand that or that that you understand what i'm trying to convey here in the very details not just some anecdotal nonsense and again a track record with trading results showing these concepts in reality by numbers proven generating consistent profits <laughs> like that the proof is in the pudding as they say right it's not pudding but something like that the pudding is in here right <laughs> so you should ask yourself you know do you want to pay your money to the market the brokers the scammers the signal providers the robot sellers any of these guys um, or would you want to invest that money into someone that's actually by your side to help you throughout the whole process to um, allow you to catch up to a level of ability and skill set that will yeah give you consistent profitability in return right so that's a choice you will have to make and, and if you feel inclined that you really want to do this you know reach out to me uh, but please only when you're serious about it other than that I'm, I'm not interested to work with just about anybody i'm just interested with working with someone who takes himself or herself serious with a commitment and you know uh, I will show that commitment back and we work on a one-on-one -on -one basis and this is why and how it works and then once you have a certain degree of consistency in your results you know then you scale with capital you access prop trading firm um, you can even you know I can even teach you how you could raise capital external capital from other investors if you wanted maybe you want to run your own fund maybe you want to start a copy trading operation um, you know in this day and age the internet is so powerful you could easily attract tens of millions from normal retail people just if you you know uh, are the right guy with a proper presence on social media and actually also results backing up what you're saying and and if, if even these scammers are able to reach so many people like what do you think if you're really building a business with proof what you can actually do and achieve right but you have to have your mind in the right place or on the other way around if you like your job you know if you like your job you like the job security uh, and all of these things but you just want to understand how should you handle your money more properly in this day and age that we're in where let's just say job security could become an issue we might be right before um, a bigger recession to hit maybe even globally and all of these things and you just want to add to your income or you want to have um, the proper skill set in place that will navigate you through these stormy times then that is just as much a valid reason to learn this ability 
So it doesn't only have to be driven by the greed for money or a million successes and cars and whatever, but actually managing your wealth as well and managing your life's path throughout this time that we're in. Because whether you like it or not, this is the reality of the times we're in. We're just ahead of maybe one of the most crucial and decisive elections in the history of the world um, we have a level of debt and deficit spending all across the world that's never been like that and again i'm not afraid i know to manage my emotions i know which actions i need to take to take advantage of all of that and instead of being you know worried or afraid or stressed by any of these things Whatever happens, happens. That's actually one of the most important things. That's also one thing that a lot of people confuse about um, emotions and, and being stoic. Or I'm a big fan of stoicism. I teach a lot of stoicism also in my, in my training. But people confuse being stoic with um, eliminating emotions again. That's absolutely not true. The stoics are so emotional. Those guys are, are poets. They, are, they, they, they actually... They free their mind from so much clutter that they have their emotions available for the nice things in life. They're great fathers. They're great mentors. Um, you know, you need to have emotional bandwidth for these things in life as well. So if you are a father and you want to be a good father to your child, you want to teach your child good lessons, you want to be a good protector, a good example, then you, you cannot dump down your emotions. You need to have your emotions in the right place and you need to have the strength that you need to have in the right place as well, right? Stoicism is all about discerning nuances. All the things you have control over, you go fucking hard all in on doing whatever you can to generate a great result in any area, in any, you know, discipline that you have control over. And whatever you don't have control over, you just free it. You don't worry about it. You don't concern yourself with it you leave it to god and you are a person of faith i don't mean like religion or any of these things you believe that those are there are just ways the universe got to decide what will happen to you or in the world and which you don't have control over so you just let that go what you do is you control your ability to manage your emotions and your skill set so that you can react to whatever comes in the most fitting best way that gives you the result that you're looking to have and for that, you need to have emotional bandwidth. You need to be able to be a good communicator. You need to be able to communicate with yourself properly as well. So, you know, maybe I'm going a little bit off board here because all these things in my world are very much connected to trading. If I had not gone into trading, none of these things would have been real. None of these things would have become a reality of my character, a reality of, of um, my personality, of who I am, of why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I love this. I, this is literally what I'm here for. And yeah, difficulty always comes back in all shapes and forms. It will never stop being difficult. But I'm here for it. I'm made for it. I think it was Marcus Aurelius who said, like, don't pray for an easier life, right? Just be grateful that it actually happens to you because you're capable to do it. Pray for, you know, the strength and the ability to, to navigate through it. You can obviously pray for it and it's nice to have like a positive expectation eh? but the positive expectation alone is not going to solve it you got to have the the grit the strength the ability and also the methods to make it work so that was a little bit <laughs> uh, sidelining the whole trading thing but it's super much connected actually i don't even think i sidelined it here you can let me know what you think actually because you know to me trading is a never-ending learning game today like even after almost 20 years of trading I can tell you, I still learn about myself. I still learn more about what triggers me. I still learn about what, uh, you know, uh, gives me this or that kind of emotional, maybe exaggeration. What pushes my button in simple terms. And why it pushed my buttons. That's very important to understand. Because it's never just like, oh, I'm just temporarily disobeying my rules. No, mate, you're not being honest with yourself. There's always a reason. Dig deeper face your demon face reality know that you are capable to do that but walk the walk and it will just change everything your results your abilities your trajectory your future your wealth all these things will improve massively and you will never 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 delete emotions especially when it comes to money when you lose money but also when you win money 
So money just amplifies emotions to a degree that is, I don't know, it's in our DNA to a, to a big extent, in our genes, because it's existential. But that's okay. Again, managing, that's your goal. Awareness, self-awareness, ability, discernment, nuances, stoicism, strength, love for the game, acceptance, but also relentlessness. These things, you combine them all up, make your own mix out of it, and then combine it with statistical edge, with math and physics. You work with reality and tailored to something that works for you, poof, you're going to rule the fucking world. And don't kid yourself. You will always have these voices like, take the trade, don't take the trade, let it run, move your stop loss. You know, like all these chatter is still going to be there. But again, you are the one in charge. You are the one making the decisions. You are the one holding the reins here. And you know when, why, and how you do what. And the more that's defined and trained, the more these voices can just go fuck themselves. <laughs> they have no impact on you. Also, like, I have these voices, yeah. And also, like, you know how many bad comments I get online from typically people, oh, he's a scammer. Mm. But... In reality, again, these comments say more about the person saying them than, than about me because they probably have been victim to a scammer. And it's difficult for them to accept that they played a role in them being able to be scammed in the first place. So now everyone in trading is a scammer because it's easier for them to comprehend and to accept that it wasn't their fault. But you, this, is, this is delusional. This is, again, trying to erase emotion. Erase a, a responsibility. That's not how it works. You need to understand nuances, discernment. And then you will not get scammed again. I know so many people, honestly, that made money and then lost it all back to scams, to um, having a wrong expectation of their own abilities, being very cocky about training uh, and having a really bad, uh, you know, how can I say, attitude towards getting their ass off the, <laughs> the ground. So... Making money too easy is actually a risk, in my opinion. If you make money too easy, you, you don't develop the necessity of skill set to keep that money throughout your lifetime and to actually make more of it. And that's also what I teach my students in my program, is to really become the best version of themselves that they are able to go through difficulty and actually even embrace difficulty, seek difficulty, become stronger because that will give you the ability and skill set and equip you for m not just making money but keeping money and making more money because it's not going to be based on a single lucky shot sort of scenario but it's going to be based on pure skill and method but don't forget regardless of how strong your psychology is if you don't have the proper strategy in place the proper statistical edge the proper structure the seven building blocks uh, and also a strategy that is suited and works for you, your psychology cannot create the trading skill. It can enhance it, it can amplify it, it can hinder it, but it cannot replace it. So you have to marry these two things. And when you do that, that is when it works. So don't forget about that, right? You still need to have the statistical edge in place. You still need to work with math and physics and reality in order to bring your mind in the right place and then make it work, all right? So understand that retail traders and professional traders, they have very different goals, mindsets, routines, abilities, and results. Which one do you want to be? Retail traders also have the most ridiculous expectations. Become rich overnight by being lazy as fuck and stupid as hell. If you think that works, go for it, brother <laughs> or sister. <laughs> Good fucking luck. Because if you believe that, you're actually set up for emotional trading and you're going to lose. Some smart guy is going to take your money. Some market phase is going to take you out. In whatever shape or form, you're going to be parted with your money, the little one that you have. And you will not build wealth this way. Im fucking possible.
Professionals, on the other hand, they manage their emotions or they get the emotionality out of the way by having statistical edge on their side, working with data. They are self-aware, reflective. They have a process-driven approach. They review themselves. They are humble, disciplined. They take every day as a learning experience and they literally become the kind of person that you need to be in order to win this thing long term. That's what a professional does. So a professional is not necessarily only someone that runs a fund for somebody else. Professionally just means you do it seriously. You don't play around, okay? And if you're one of these guys that are some sort of a demo hero, switch to life. Show me your ability on life, like I'm showing you on my track record. This is obviously a life account, verified on a regulated platform, no offshore broker that my uncle owns or any of that nonsense. It's so fucking funny what people do and believe. <laughs> it, I, it chuckles me up, honestly. You know, you got to do it life, real money, real stakes, real difficulty. You do that and you find your way with these things. Man, the world is your oyster. The world is your oyster. So you have any questions about that topic, leave them in the comment. I'm very happy to answer whatever you come up with here that uh, maybe was not addressed in this video. I also would like to ask you to, if you like what I'm doing here, leave me a thumbs up, help me with the algorithm, comment positively, share with anyone you know that might be interested. Uh, I would really love to see more people engage with that kind of content. Let me know if I'm on the right track here, which of course I believe I am, but I need you to confirm that because my opinion doesn't count here. And if you're interested, you know, to get mentored in the right way and to learn trading to either, you know, supplement your income and maybe even replace your job um, or manage your wealth, any of these things in the right way on a one-on-one -on -one mentoring and have the right expectations and also, you know, mindset, by all means, reach out to me. You'll find a link under this video here as well. For now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.